Are you planning your next trip? Jump into the unknown and let Party Rock Travel take care of you. Party Rock Travel have partnered with some of the biggest festivals and events around the world, including Tomorrowland, the UFC, NFL and many more, to bring you an unforgettable experience in one package. Visit PartyRockTravel.ie for more details. Party Rock Travel, open your world. Tired of waiting in line? Skip the queue with The Green Room NYC. The Green Room offers you VIP access to the hottest nightclubs and bars in New York City at no cost. Yep, that's it. No cost. Live your best life in the city that doesn't sleep. Visit greenroomnyc.com for more. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Jumping Into The Unknown, episode 8. And in this one, I want you to sit down, have that honest conversation with yourself. Ask yourself, who am I and what do I want out of life? I know that's pretty deep, <laughs> but try not to drown. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hello, how are you? What's happening? Saturday evening, you should be getting ready. Maybe with Sally Hansen on, the high heels on. Smell of Sally Hansen, smell out of your wand. <laughs> weird times, guys, weird times here in 2020 on a Saturday night when we should be getting ready to party. Maybe you're happy, it's a little break from the high heels and the sore feet and carrying around flats. And well, well, I don't know so much about heels. <laughs> At least now you can meet up, have a couple of drinks in your pyjamas. Us guys always had it handy. Throw on the old shirt, jeans, old Wrangler shoes. Yup, swinger left and swinger right. I love a good jive all the same. I love a good jive. Anyway, will we ever see that again? The day where you go into the bar, swinger left, swinger right, dancing there to Mike Dimmer or whatever. Maybe it's Clayton on a Saturday night. Good old country jive. They're saying now that we might need sticks. Two by one lats. Could you imagine rocking up to the Clayton Hotel? With two sticks, sticks, <laughs> two sticks and a mask and your ID. Be like you're going skiing or something. <laughs> Let me in there, I'll bet you. Been a weird, weird year. The year that taught us that Halloween isn't the only time the fashionable masks can be worn. Ah, uh, some of the masks going around are crazy, you know. Very strange times indeed. But maybe, guys, just maybe 2020 is the year, you know, that was meant to happen. Maybe this is the break in all of our lives that we needed, uh, you know, to help us take a step back, to put things into perspective, take a look around and maybe zone in on, I suppose, who you really are and what you want out of life, you know? We as humans, like, always want more. We're always striving for something better. And that's not a bad thing. But when you're living in a world where there's so much happening and so much opportunity, like, it can sometimes lead to, like, a lack of commitment, you know, uh, to ourselves and, I suppose, the things that are important to our personal growth. Like, think about it. Pre-COVID, we're running around like headless chickens, caught up in a rat race of life, always wanting more and more and never really, like, took the time to just chill out and, I suppose, be grateful you know for what we actually do have in life um never wants to actually take a step back and think about what we really want so that's why i think if 2020 is to teach us anything it's just i suppose to trust the process you know to really have patience um and to get in tune with yourself like really ask yourself how are you feeling you know sit down and be honest with yourself and like what do you want out of life you know it's almost like a reset year um that's the way i've been looking at it anyway it's like a year to regroup and acknowledge i suppose all you've done and how far you've come and Maybe it's a year to try something completely new, to come away from what you've always known and try something completely new or start that new business idea that you once had, but you didn't have time for in the busy world, you know? So I think 2020 is definitely the year where you can learn how to really do you, you know, to really zone in and be the person that you always wanted to be, but kind of went away for or got distracted, I suppose, in, in, in the busy world. You know, we need to learn... Um, to block out the noise like there's so much noise in the world right now and so much different opinions and perspectives and stuff like that so to block out I suppose the outside noise and just do you and do what makes you happy and to really get to know yourself and the things that you want like of course that requires a lot of discipline you know like that's that's but that's kind of what I'm saying is that this could be the year that we take the time to invest in the discipline to train your mind to prepare for when things get back to normal and when life gets busy again like so many of us go about our lives pleasing everyone else like seeking acceptance you know wanting to just fit in but with who like someone that's going to not even spend five minutes thinking about you like look we hear this all the time in, in books in movies motivational speech whatever fucking podcasts whatever you know like when you really start doing things for yourself and only you that's when the mind is most happy like that's when you can start to unleash the positive thoughts and that's when the mind starts thinking for itself again you know like think about it when was the last time that you actually posted social media without worrying about what other people think you know like like how many times did you actually take a selfie 
or a video that you thought might be cool, posted it, then deleted it again straight away because you thought people might think it's stupid or weird. And by the way, if people think you're weird, that's a good thing. Um, it means you're not different. You're not one of the sheep. And you know what? Those people that do want to talk, even if it is only for five minutes, I guarantee you they'll move on quicker than rabbits can shout out babies. <laughs> like Next time you want to post something or do something crazy with your hair or maybe get a new tattoo in an unusual place, that's not you in people's opinion. Just, just do it because it's not their body. It's not their life. Sure, they may talk about you. They might even text their friend and bitch about you for a couple of minutes but as time goes on I guarantee you those people will be drooling over the next big thing in a, in, a, in a couple of weeks time my point being is you know people are always going to talk like you can't stop that you can't control their opinions or, or, or their views so just don't let that control your way of thinking you know don't let it control you or stop you from doing you being able to zone out and just do my own thing is something that I've had to continuously work on um, and you know I, I, I was in a situation where I always wanted to know what people thought of me you know I always wanted to get their opinions and read the comments online and as someone who put themselves out there at a very young age, like it was just natural that I suppose I wanted to feel accepted or, or, or feel loved or be told that you're funny, etc. You know, like that kind of gives you motivation for the next video. Um, but that sort of attention is addictive. You know, it's, it's only when I learned over the years that if you listen to the good, then you're going to listen to the bad, you know, which in return just doesn't serve you. Like it's just not it's not good for you. So, you know, be, being able to silence uh, the good and the bad was, I suppose, a, a, a real turning point to me, just not giving a fuck. Like if someone happens to like what I do, great, good for you. If not, then no one's asking you to stick around. Fuck off and piss in the corner, you know? It was only recently as well that I, I kind of started to do me um, and, and really tuned into who I am and, and do my own thing, you know? Here's a quick story. So like, I was in a bar in New York there just before Christmas and a mate of mine was bartending, right? And he introduced me to the guy next to me. Um, really cool dude. And we got chatting about what I do and he told me what his purpose in life was. So basically he is... Um, almost like a physio for different NFL players and NBA players and, and, and sports stars, like a personal personal physio, you know, and he, he works with like energy healing and different alignments and stuff with the body and very, very interesting, you know. And he told me one thing that I'll never forget is like you're either one of two states. You're either grounded or you're channeling, one or the other. If you're grounded, it means you're doing you. If you're challenging, it mean, channeling, sorry, it means that you're living or feeding, if you like, of someone else's energy. It means that you've allowed someone else to come in and influence your life subconsciously, hence that you're adapting their mannerisms. Over time, I suppose, with different energies and different encounters of people, be it toxic or, or not, um, that then forms the person that you are today, you know? And it, it was really, really interesting, like, you know, because that's constantly changing as well. And like I said, it can be good or bad. So for me as an impressionist, like my job was to pick up on other people's mannerisms, you know, and and, and different ways. Um, so I was very susceptible towards that on a subconscious level. You know, I was very susceptible to absorbing people's energy um, without me even known. I didn't really know how to turn it off either, you know, like turn off um, that part of the brain that picks up and allows other people to influence you and change your ways. You know, he, he told me about uh, being aware, like aware of where you are and limiting alcohol as well because alcohol damages your energy field. But awareness was the big thing, you know, just, just being present. And when you find yourself drifting off or getting soaked into a certain situation, it's about just being present and ground yourself, you know, and, and there's different techniques he, he told me along the way, um, even social grounding that when I go out again, just to, you know, so I wouldn't be subconsciously channeling and, and living off other people's energy. So different techniques I learned of him, which was very, very interesting. And that helped me massively. And I know this may sound very, very strange, but when I really, really think about it and, you know, when I thought about what he said, it struck home. I was like, that actually makes a lot of sense, you know? All those years of channeling really took, uh, I suppose, a toll on me, you know, without me even realizing. So even though the impressions and everything, like, it was all great fun, uh, it still is great fun, what am I saying? But I'm just like, uh, I wasn't able to switch off and I wasn't able to go back to the real me, you know, like not channeling or not copying other people's personalities because that's essentially what I was doing, you know? So as a result of that, then you kind of, you lose your own, uh, I suppose, personality or you lose who you really are. But like, you know, and, and that, that's different to, you know, anyone who's a performer out there, that's different to when you finish a gig. You finish a gig or a show that's pretty intense or whatever. We all have our own different techniques to calm down or to, to zone out like any performer does. You know, I'm not talking about that kind of come down. Um, oh, some come down, lads. <laughs> I'm talking about the balance between, you know, the real me and my skill to impersonate. Like I was literally impersonating other people's mannerisms without me even knowing. And I suppose I just accept that as who I am, you know? So it was very interesting to chat with them and to really get some knowledge on that and to learn how to ground yourself and, and to be you, be the real you, you know? So that's something I suppose that's worth looking into, you know, if, if you're someone that kind of values other people's opinions uh, a bit too much um, and you struggle with that kind of thing, then it'd be worth looking at, are you channeling or are you grounded? You know, just see what kind of state you're in because and there's different techniques you can do. Like even, like, like I talked about earlier on my podcast about uh, meditation and stuff like that on YouTube, like I'm sure there's different
different techniques you can do on that. Um, but if anyone wants to message me, like DM me on Instagram, whatever, I'd be happy to tell you a couple of the techniques that this guy at the bar, I won't mention his name for previous, or previous reasons, but I, um, he told me some nice techniques I wouldn't mind sharing or, or, or passing on if, to those who need it. So yeah, that helped me massively in terms of coming into tune with myself and I suppose no one really knows what they really want, you know, so I, I, I don't want to say that it opened up a whole new world for me and told me what I really want or where I'm going because I think it, that, I think that's all a process, um, but it definitely helped me to ground myself um, and get to know the real me, I suppose. That brings me on to my next point, which is that we're all good actors. You know, like to so many people out there who are genuinely happy um, or think they're happy playing a character just to please other people. We, I, I, I see it all the time on Instagram and social media and even in, in, in real life. People are putting on this brave face. They're, they, they have uh, almost like a double shield up. And maybe that's to protect their own energy. They might pr- protect their own things that are going on. And that's fair enough. But I know that deep down behind those guards, it's just, it's, it's a whole new personality waiting to come out um, and they will come out sooner rather than later. I don't mean come out in, in, in terms of sexuality. I mean, I like come out in, in terms of letting their personality shine, you know? So it's it's kind of sad to see in a way that there's so many people hiding behind these masks. Um, <laughs> not due to COVID. I need to be careful my, my words, my, my word choice here. Um, yeah, I don't mean COVID masks, even though, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing people's faces anymore. You need to get to know people from the rise up. <laughs> but I think, you know what I'm saying um, is that there are so many people out there waiting to shine, I suppose, but they're happy and content right now playing the character of someone else. And even though they may be happy now with the character that they've built up over the years, it's destructive and it's not them, you know, and it's not the real you. And I suppose that's the message that I want to get out here that you shouldn't be afraid to express the real you because there's so much benefits to that. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you open up a whole new world. You get a whole, there's a circle of friends, even the ones that you have right now that they think they know you but they only know the character that you're showing them, if that makes sense. You know, so you open a whole new world, you get the, the friends and the peers and the co-workers and, you know, the people that really appreciate the real you and, and, and they really do like the real you. And I suppose the reason you held up this character in the first place is that you think they may not like the real you. But I'm telling you, there's so much people out there that will appreciate the real you. Um, so it's, it's, it's worth taking that risk, you know what I mean? And it's comforting to be so comfortable in your own body um, and your own personality, you know, and like I said that you just, I suppose you learn to trust yourself again um, and you learn to hear other people's opinions and not be swayed. You know, you, you, you have a voice again for yourself. So the biggest reason I think that people don't make this change and the people that don't want to reveal their own identity are supposed to their to their full potential, you know, is because they're afraid of losing what they have now. They're afraid of losing of what they've built up over the years. But I can guarantee you, if they're your real friends, they'll appreciate you coming clean about the real you. Um, and if not, you're going to make a whole new circle of friends again. Do you know what I mean? So it's like worth it uh, in, in the long run. It's worth it in, 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 in the investment in yourself. And 2020, I think, is the year to do that, to sit down, be honest with yourself and ask yourself those questions you know so anyway guys I'm going to leave it there that is the podcast I like I said I'm coming towards the end of the uh, first season <laughs> end of the first season episode I'm going to have one more guest I think on before I close it off and then we're going to start going a little bit light hearted so all the seriousness stuff is out all the cards are on the table we can have some fun with it after that but uh, thanks for listening guys I really do appreciate it if you liked it maybe share it with a friend um, or not I don't care <laughs> alright bye <laughs>